Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the Big Timber! <laughs> <laughs> Trying something new. But as you can tell, I am very excited to be making this video and I think some of my OG viewers are going to be excited to watch it. And why is that? Well, it's because I'm going to be taking my lovely CZ457 Pro Varmint back to the range and trying out some new ammo that I found with my family when I was at Shields the other day. So let's get right into this. So I was at Shields the other day with my family walking around and decided to stroll through the ammo aisle, not really expecting to pick anything up. Bullshit. And then all of a sudden this green box caught my eye. Some Remington subsonic high performance below the speed of sound, 40 grain copper plated hollow point ammunition. What? So yeah, I had to pick this up. It's been a while since I've seen bulk box ammo from Remington since they went out of business or went bankrupt and other companies purchased their facilities. But yeah, what's it say? Subsonic ammunition, copper plating, lead core, hollow point for rapid expansion and extreme terminal performance at low velocity, 40 grain projectile, once you shoot suppressed, you'll never want to shoot any other way. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, that's some good marketing right there. All right. Let's have a look. All the warnings. Oof. Talk about taking me back to my childhood. Taking me back. Look at that ammo. Love seeing that R. <laughs> Love seeing that R. Oof. Let's have a closer look. <laughs> Whoa! Are you feeling the nostalgia too? Man, a bulk box of ammo from Remington is taking me back to when I was a kid. Me and my best friend, Brian, we would save up, go to the Wally World. $9.99 for a box of 550 rounds of some Remington Thunderbolt. Man, we could go through that in one weekend. I promise. I kid you not. Both of us had our rifles. Woof. Man, look out, squirrels and chipmunks. <laughs> and that's what I'm excited about. It's early spring here in Colorado. And man, the prairie dogs are starting to come out of the ground. And I want to go have some fun. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. So yeah. Before we go do that, though, we got to go test this ammo out, make sure that it's going to be accurate enough to hunt with. But also, I want to see how good it does in this CZ457 Pro Varmint. So I'm going to be shooting it at 50 yards, 75 yards, and 100 yards, unsuppressed, just to get kind of a feel for it. And also so we can hear what it sounds like. And then I'll be putting my Chaos Gear Supply Hydra aluminum suppressor on my rifle and shooting it at 50, 75, and 100 yards. Now, I am also going to compare it to my control ammunition for this rifle, which is RWS Rifle Match Ammunition. In three, this particular baby. lot, I can get sub-half MOA groups with this rifle. I see Kid you not, this is only a 16 and a half inch barrel. I'm not the world's best shot, but darn, I'll tell you what, this rifle and this ammo, Makes me feel like I am. So hopefully we can get something somewhat close with this Remington subsonic ammunition, and I hope it works well with the suppressor. So enough talking, let's get to the range. Just so you have a frame of reference, when looking at the targets in the next segment at the range, it takes about four and a quarter square widths to equal one inch. All right, so we're at the range right now. I have my Remington subsonic ammunition, and currently the rifle is loaded up with the control RWS rifle match. I have my target right here. This is what it looks like. So this is for the Fowler shots, and then I will have three targets for the Remington suppressed, and then I will be putting my control rounds up here. So I'm gonna start off with three Fowler rounds with the RWS, move the control shots, and then I will switch over to the Remington, do my Fowler shots, three Fowlers, and then I will do three five shot groups at 50 yards and then i will push it out to 75 and then 100 and then i will be switching over to suppressed we're going to start off unsuppressed and then move over to suppressed so let's get into this fowlers it is all right this is our control rounds
Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, but we do definitely need to bring this up. So that needs to go up by about four inches, so we need to go up 12 clicks. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go with the Fowlers. We made adjustments on the fly. Oh, that's still low. That was good. It needed that Fowler. Yeah, that's not bad. And we will start at the head and work our way down with each group. Group number two. Now it definitely tightened up on that group. That middle group definitely tightened up. Shooting low and left, but that's because I'm not really dialed in for this ammunition. Go ahead and call that one back. Let's have a look. Okay. That's my RWS rifle match. That's a little, that's probably close to like point or point nine MOA. I could shoot better. This is four bullets right there with one. Um, but let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. After the Fowlers, this was the first Fowler. This was the second Fowler. That was the third Fowler. Uh, and then we had one, two, three, four, five. Then we had one, two, three, four, five. Definitely tightened up with that second group. And then with the third group, tightened up as well. One, two, three, four, five. This is unsuppressed. So let's go ahead and push this out to 75 and do the same thing. All right, we are in at 75 yards with the RWS rifle match. I try to just make a guesstimate. Got my three Fowlers with the RWS loaded up. We're gonna be taking a shot at 100 yards. All right, so it looks like we need to come up about 10 clicks in mills. I gotta say, that was impressive. I think that's a sub MOA group at 100 yards. Five times three loaded up in the Remington. We're gonna start off with the top target. That was the last one. I got thrown off. I forgot to do the Fowlers. So I'm running out of time. I got five minutes until they come in here to tell me to get off the lane. <sighs> Definitely tell which ammo this rifle likes. It's not the Remington. Let's have a peek. This is my control with the RWS. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And that is less than an inch so that's sub MOA grouping that's probably about 0.8 MOA grouping uh, and then 
yeah, this stuff was just all over the place. I mean, one, I don't even, so I shot one, two, three, I don't even know where four and five went. I'm assuming one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm assuming one, two, three, four, five. There's one down here, so there was definitely a flyer all the way down there. I don't know where those came from, so yeah. All right, we are loaded for bear, ha ha ha. Alright, we gotta get back on the parallax. We made a quick on the fly adjustment, so we should be good to go. We'll start off once again top target. That is so much quieter. That's just stupid quiet. That's like that Hollywood quiet. One more. All right. Getting anxious. I know these folks are wanting to get out of here. They want to get out of here so they can get home and watch some Big Timber Lodge. That's what they want to do. All right. <laughs> Just because I don't want y'all feeling like I gypped you of anything. I'm going to put three Fowlers down range with the RWS control with the suppressor and then five in the control target. That's three Fowlers. You know, might as well just finish out this ammo. So I'll do four Fowlers. Okay, I got two little mags left, and that's it. The, uh, that lost radio connection. All right, so we've got the four Fowlers going downrange. This is the RWS rifle match, y'all. Good looking Fowler group, I'll tell you what. All right, now, now we're gonna put five RWS rifle match into the control target suppressed. Damn, that literally punched the same hole. Hot diggity dog. That's a group. That, that is a group. All right, so this was the first group. One, this is first shot. Second was in here. And then third, and then fourth, and then fifth. And then over here, one, two, three, four, five. And then, no, this was that group where it was one, two, one, three, and five, and then two, two, and four were out there. And then down here, this definitely tightened up, but I mean, that's still, that's a two MOA group. Now, just so y'all can see, I can shoot the piss out of this rifle. So that was my Fowler grouping with the RWS with four shots. This is five, five shots right there. <laughs> what can I say? Boy, am I glad I brought this RWS rifle match as control ammo. <laughs> Not just to make me feel better about myself because man, I was shooting lights out with this, but so you know that I can actually shoot and that the horrible groupings that I was getting with this Remington subsonic ammunition was not because of me. It was not because of the rifle or the scope. It was just because this ammo did not get along well with my 457 Pro Varmint. So, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. If you have a 457 Pro Varmint, I would probably say steer clear of this Remington subsonic ammunition. I am not going to use it for hunting. I don't think it would be ethical, especially because with the Prairie Dogs, I'm typically shooting at about 75 to 125 yards, and it's typically windy. And I don't think that those would be ethical shots I would be taking with this ammunition. But, uh, man, I got to say, this RWS rifle match and this rifle, Mwah! Chef's kiss. So until next time, everybody, peace.